nations to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texans, one say under God, one and indivisible. <laughs> Today for lunch, you have a choice of breaded beef fingers with roll, sloppy joe sandwich, or chicken taco salad, and your vegetable is vegetarian mashed potatoes. Happy birthday to anybody who has a birthday today. Hi, Grandview Hills Eagles. This is Mrs. Jakey, and I wanted to share something that I'm thankful for for Thankful Thursday. I don't know how many of you went out and played in the snow on Monday, but on Monday, I was thankful for snow. What are you thankful for? Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Bartley and this is Thursday. So this is the day we talk about what we are reading. I just got in Sora the audiobook of Caterpillar Summer, and I was really excited to get it because it's one of the last blue bonnets that I need to read for this year. And I love an audiobook because I can listen to it while I'm doing other work, like putting library books away or checking things in. So this book is realistic fiction. I haven't gotten very far in it, but I know enough that there are two kids that are brother and sister, Cat, but her nickname is Caterpillar, and her brother's real name is Henry, but he goes by Chicken. And Cat kind of takes care of or looks after her brother because he sometimes gets a little bit upset or has a meltdown and she kind of looks after him and makes sure that he is okay. And they're getting ready for summer vacation. And um, I think what I'm going to enjoy about the story is that Cat, as much as she loves to take care of her brother Chicken, she also needs that time to be a kid herself. And I get the feeling that in this book, Cat's going to be able to kind of live her own life and have kind of an adventure over the summer. And that is Caterpillar Summer. I've just started it. Um, we do have a copy in the library. I'm listening to the Sora audiobook, but there's also a Sora regular ebook. So there's lots of ways to read this book. And I hope everybody is reading something great that they love. And take a minute and just tell your class about what you're reading or what you read recently that really made you happy. Have a wonderful day. Make sure to bring your notes by next Tuesday. The passion prank will be done. Well, the passion prank will be done at the car. Um, make sure to think outside the box. Make sure your notes are creative. And Miss Wells is a quest teacher, so make sure that I don't know what to say. And make sure you're creative. And by the way, she loves camels. Bye, Bye girls. <laughs> Hey Eagles, we need your help bringing in notes of appreciation for Miss Wells. Make sure you tell her you love her and drop those off either in the front office or email to Miss Britt by next Friday. And we are still taking donations of supplies for the animals. So towels and blankets and pet food and stuffed animals. Anything you want to donate, you still have time. The prank will happen next Friday. So if you have something that you want to bring in or a note for Miss Wells, you still have time. Thanks.